tonight, 26 years after a young mother was found beaten in her Austin apartment, a former Austin musician has been convicted of her murder. A jury found Dennis Davis guilty in the 1985 beating death of his ex-girlfriend Natalie Antonetti. For a long time, it was one of Austin's coldest cases. Well, I've missed my mom a lot. I'm, uh, you know. Johnny Gowdy was just 16 years old when his mother, Natalie Antonetti, was beaten in their Austin apartment while he slept. He eventually just kind of gave up on the thought. But Friday, he was in the front row as so many years of questions were answered. The defendant, please rise. Dennis Davis was Antonetti's ex boyfriend back in 1985. In 2011, he was the man standing trial for her murder. Guilty of the offense of murder. Guilty. And sitting behind him in court, the woman who cracked the case wide open, Davis's wife, Rebecca, who called APD investigators back in 2007 and told them her husband admitted to sinning against God. I feel like justice has been served. I just want to thank the cold case department, especially Detective Walsh, for, uh, for, for solving this case and letting us all sleep a little bit better tonight. Detective Tom Walsh is retired now, but the Antonetti case was his in the APD cold case unit back in 2007. After Rebecca Davis came forward, another one of Dennis Davis's ex-girlfriends told police he confessed to Natalie's murder to her back in 1988. So that's why it was a cold case, uh, you know, obviously because um, uh, people never came forward, people never talked to the police. But Detective Walsh never stopped talking to Natalie's son, whose appreciation overwhelmed even this tough investigator. Good. Okay. Davis will be sentenced by a judge on Monday. In the meantime... I've, I've tried to live my life the way I thought that she would be proud. The family feels pretty good. Um, I feel pretty good about the verdict. And, um, and it's over. Now, there are three other Austin cold cases waiting to go to trial right now. And get this, the APD cold case unit is made up of only five investigators. There are 140 cold cases between them, dating all the way back to the 1960s. The big one, of course, the murders of four teenage girls at a North Austin yogurt shop back in 1991. The current cold case unit actually evolved from those unsolved murders.